Welcome to your Donut You Eat It. I'm your host, Sean. So I take a break because of work from all the social media and law or media in general and the news cycle just to find out that it's even more broken now than it was before I left. Update on the project. I've got all the back-end configuration done. I finally got some help. Um, they're working on getting my primary site that has the most access points back online. But to get back to the social media stuff and the media craze, if you hadn't heard, they raided Trump's Mar-a-Lago home. I don't agree with this because so far the media has patently lied about Trump on a couple of things. And I'm not the huge, a huge Trump follower or a fanboy. But a broke clock is right twice a day. Trump did a lot more good than he actually did bad uh, compared to Biden. Biden has demonstrably in a year and a half screwed the United States into a situation that can't be fixed very readily. Part of it is by design from his cabinet and his group of people. The other part of it is actually from the state of the world. Um, can't blame him for part of the state of the world, except for he's been in power one way or another for 49 years or 50 years now. I think it's time we get rid of old dudes and start going back to, you know, normal adults. But in this news cycle, holy moly, we raided a former president based off of a Russian probe which has already been found by multiple organizations to be false. The quid pro quo that supposedly happened was actually done by Biden in Ukraine. And maybe why we're backing Ukraine so much and giving them so many financial incentives for their war. Granted, it was Russia that started it. But their war that we really have no business taking any part in or giving any of our equipment or spending American tax dollars supporting Ukraine. That's me knowing Ukraine is very corrupt. So I don't blame any European country like Germany if they had to side with the Russians over Ukraine. It's not because I like Russia more than Ukraine. And Russia's wrong in trying to take another sovereign country. However, they both seem dramatically corrupt. Anyone who's spent any time looking at uh, Zelensky, well, Vladimir Zelensky, you'll find that there's a lot of skeletons in his closet that I don't know that the American people know about. Um, the man is just as corrupt as any politician here. He's also had one of the lowest approval ratings but before the war, like at 31% because of corruption. And that was against his own people or with his own people in that poll, not, not Americans. But the Americans right now, we're all sitting here looking at what? Why are we giving $43 billion to a country? Then you start looking at what we're actually giving him. What we're doing is paying ourselves to generate more weapons to hand them over. None of the weapons we're giving them are actually going to make a big enough a difference, big enough of a difference, I should say, that the Russians are going to be sent packing. And if they are, it's because the Russians were even that much more ill-prepared for what's going on. The other things I've seen are just... Olivia Newton-John dies. Holy crap. That's like a cultural icon. But then you find out she's been battling cancer for 30 years. Um, the House is now getting the bill for the Inflation Reduction Act, which is nothing of the sort. And actually, if you read the text of the, of the bill, which I did today... Uh, or this this evening, it actually looks like they're subsidizing products like solar panels and electric cars, which sound great, 
except for I don't know how we're going to get them, period, uh, in the current situation in the world right now. And then part of the text actually talks about allow or forcing, I would say, mandating farmers to fallow their fields, um, which means in a global food crisis, we have farmers that are being told to till your crop underground and don't bring it to market and we'll pay you for it. This makes absolutely no sense to me. Um, this definitely looks like it's more planned now than ever. The only funny thing I've seen is that the White House staffers have tried to rebrand um, Dark Biden. If you haven't seen the memes, there's a, a ripoff from one of the Batman um, franchise, the Christopher Nolan ones. And it shows Biden with an eye patch, and, and behind him, there is an eagle symbol that looks dramatically like a Nazi symbol. The White House has said that they're trying to reclaim the memes that are going around and rebrand Biden. Um, this original meme that they're trying to share was actually derogatory towards Biden and that it was making an effect. It always does. The left really can't meme. But in this case, they're trying to adopt it to kind of devalue the meme or devalue the the word or the stigma around it. The other thing that was shocking was Aaron Rodgers um, admitted to microdosing with mushrooms and said it was one of the best things he'd ever done. Now, they're not performance enhancing, otherwise he wouldn't be able to play in the NFL, and obviously the NFL doesn't test for those. Um, because he still played last year. It's amazing what has happened in a little over three days. Um, the w Anne Heche is in a coma after a fiery auto crash. They're trying to get her blood sample. She's an American actress who's had mental issues before. Um, so they're wondering if this wasn't a suicide attempt or if she was high or drunk or something when she crashed into stuff. Um, it's people are going, I see with the new bills that have went through, uh, specifically the uh, Inflation Reduction Act, I see them going after people like Elon Musk or anyone who stood up to them in any way, shape or form trying to go after them and put them behind jail or put them behind bars, put them in jail. It also sucks that in that uh, same bill, the language is to hire 87,000 more IRS agents. And this is supposed to stop inflation. What they're actually saying here is that they're going to go after people and audit them. If you read between the lines of the bill, when they're hiring 87,000 more agents to in the IRS, it's to handle the audit load they perceive that they're going to have. Now what's interesting about this, or sad to me, is that them going on a hiring spree to hire 87,000 more government agents for the IRS then puts them larger making them the largest department in the United States government that means the IRS has more personnel than the FBI the IRS has more personnel than the border control agents and to what I've been hearing is that this is roughly more than any single single agency combined that you could get two or three agencies combined and then you would get close to the numbers that we're seeing all this in a three or four day news cycle it's amazing how things have slipped and shaped while i was busy fighting network gremlins <sighs> It's a big shit sandwich, and we all have to take a bite. 
like, share, subscribe, be great.